Welcome to this little demonstration showing you how uh, product images are imported into VP e-commerce through Magpie. And as you know, Magpie now is um, a CSV uh, file importer and exporter. So let's go and see here now in products in VP e-commerce. I don't have any products here. So what I will do, I will import a CSV file and a product. And in this case, we have one called pizza and a content here and the SKU number and the price. These are just the, what, some of the basics you need. In fact, I think only you need the post title as uh, a value for VP e-commerce to accept an insertion of a new product. But we've kept the price here also and the SKU number. And the thumbnail ID we're going to use here to reference the, the product image in uh, WordPress and VP e-commerce. Now, WordPress has its own media library here. And in this case, I already have one. It's a pizza image. Let me just delete this so I will show you how you import uh, images here. I will select Add New. And remember, this is WordPress's own uh, interface. So you're using the standard WordPress file, a media file system here. I will select Files, find my pizza image, and voila, it's imported. And I can edit here, product, uh, ti uh, image, uh, title, etc. So that's all done. It should be in the library back here, I guess. <coughs> now, when you hover this uh, image title, you will see down here in the status uh, line, uh, you will see the attachment ID is equal to 57. So it's an ID number. This attachment, which is actually a post by itself, but this is a little technical and I won't go into that. But everything in WordPress is now basically posts, even this image. But any, anyway, it's an attachment ID uh, of 57. So let's go into our uh, CSV uh, file here and enter that 57. And if you have gold card, you can enter up to four uh, numbers here separated by a comma. So if you had uh, other product images you wanted to use here, you would enter them by entering a comma. But I don't have gold card, and I just want to sh uh, show you this here, uh, how it's referenced uh, through the thumbnail ID up here. Okay, I will save this. And we go to products. And as you see, there are no products. So let's go into Magpie Pro and import the CSV file. And I will select my, it's called demo here. You will see down here, I've got it demo thumbnails. It's on the server. And I'm running a local server here. So it's uh, on my own file system here. I will load that. And the mapping here, I will go into that in another video presentation later. It's set here to import from row one to row one, including. And uh, since I have no products, there's going to be no matching here, and I could deselect. I should then select this and say insert, insert new product if no uh, SKU number is found. But again, this is uh, for my next demonstration on 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 this uh, topic alone. So we are set to go. Start the import. One product successfully imported, and the status here is inserted for this uh, pizza here. Let's go to products. And indeed, we have our pizza with a nice little thumbnail here. When you import, all the, the thumbnails are created for you automatically. And in uh, VP Commerce, under product images, you can manage your product images uh, through the media library here, show, and you can trash them, and etc. This is all standard uh, WordPress and VP Commerce. Uh, so, this is outside of Magpie, but now Magpie has imported your your um, your product and the image. So let's go back to the CSV file. Now this field name here, thumbnail ID, is uh, the internal name for uh, for uh, BP Commerce and Magpie to map your product image ID number to the internal of BP Commerce. You could call this like just image uh, or um, um, IMG uh, ID and then uh, on the mapping inside 
Magpie. I should I'll show you this. Let me just save this here. Hang on here. Yeah, save that up here. Yes, please. So now it's called IMG ID. And if we do a new import <coughs> here in Magpie, we go and select the same file, load CSV file. You will see now that it's IMG ID, and we don't. The system don't know what you want to do with this, so you have to tell Magpie and VP Commerce and WordPress what and where you want to put this IMG ID field name and its values. So in this case, we want to put it into thumbnail ID. So remember that thumbnail ID is the name uh, to use with a number to reference what uh, media library file you want to insert as a product image. And we will then do the import, and it's updated by SKU, and we go to product, and well, nothing has changed. So just uh, let me do a new chain, little change here. Let's say it's now 29.95, and we will write here, eat me because I am delicious, and post title could be pizza. Big, and we keep the same image ID and uh, price everything. Yes, let's change that. Now we go back to Magpie and we select our same demo, thumbnails, CSV file, and remember the mapping here. In the Magpie Pro, there's actually a template system for you to save these. I will show you all this again. This is down here, but I will show you this in, a, in another demonstration. So we will start the import, and again here, we will use the ID we don't want to insert if it's not found, but it is found, so we will just start the import here. And again, update it by SKU. We go to products, and the price has now changed to 29, and the pizza big, and the SKU number is the same, and let's just click it here. And now we have the content here. Post uh, content is eat me because I'm delicious. So that's how the update. And if you wanted to change uh, your product image, you would then change your ID number here to uh, another image, uh, 125, if you had that. Now you can find that in Magpie Pro by clicking on the media, and you will have your product images, or actually all your media file listed here, with your ID number. So if you inserted uh, one more or, or had a, a lot of images here, they would then be listed here and you would use that ID number in your CSV file and into that. But we have only that 157. So save. So what you do here is you manage your product images uh, from WordPress's standard uh, media library and you import your media files here by selecting Add New and then select, select Files and you will then upload all your product images and depending on your internet connection speed that will take a little while or also depending on the size of the, your images and they will then be listed here and then again you can hover the file name and if um, uh, you have a status down here. In some cases, some browsers don't have, or you can toggle it on and off. You can see the ID number down here. But remember, go into Magpie Pro, into Media, and you will get the ID number listed here, which you then use in your CSV file. Right, um, and let me just go into Products again here. Yes, it's indeed listed here, and uh, everything looks fine. So this was just a little demonstration to show you how uh, the, the uh, product images is, are imported uh, into BP e-commerce so that uh, you don't have to do it manually. So you will bulk upload all your product uh, images here uh, through Add New and select uh, any number of files and they will then be uploaded and be listed here and you go to your Magpie Pro and you go to your CSV file and you will then enter the ID numbers uh, here for each product 
here I just I'm just entering some examples. <clears throat> you probably already have your prices and your SKU number and the post titles listed here. Save your file and do the import, and now everything should be set, and you have your product images uh, uh, online. And again, you can you can update this. So when you want to have some updates, you go into your CSV file and you change your values here to like 154, and you do an update in Magpie, and the product images are then uh, changed as as soon as you do the import. That's online instantly. Okay, right. So this little demonstration is. Uh, it's just showing you just this little corner of, of Magpie and I hope that you uh, get a feel for what uh, product images, uh, media f library and uh, VP e-commerce is doing with this ID number. So all you do is use this ID number here as a reference, do your import and that's all. Now in my next video I will probably uh, have time for showing you how to uh, do the mapping which I will just uh, go over here the mapping here and again there's the new template system but this is going to be for two other videos right so um, I hope you enjoy and remember to visit uh, ggood.com slash wordpress uh, for updates and news about magpie the bird Pro and standard and I even have included now a community edition which can also be downloaded from my website and from wordpress.org if you search magpie. Okay thank you and uh, hope you have a nice day.